वेलकम 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 ये दिस इज होम फॉर मी साउथ एल्डन एन इंडस्ट्रियल वेस्ट लैंड एंड दिस इज माय होम सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी टेकिंग अ लुक एट द कलरफुल actually colorless and drab neighborhood of south aldeny where i live so this is home these brick apartments were originally constructed by some big petroleum company in the neighborhood for housing their workers the company closed down years ago as is a trend in south aldeny and the apartments were then auctioned off to private property buyers who then started renting them out to the poor schmucks and the blue collar workers in the area as you can see it is very dirty there's rubbish everywhere what's happening sister hmm. it looks like someone has purchased a lot of kakagawa tinkies let me show you the remaining area of this neighborhood what's your fucking problem fuck so, face once you start walking here you see various shops for rent you see this This place used to be a big hub for retailing back in the day but not anymore because now it's all gone down the drain the whole area is collapsing as more and more industries are now moving to China or Japan or Singapore American industry is fading I like to come back here sometimes The houses at the back are slightly more comfortable. There is graffiti everywhere on the walls. The view from here is awesome. I mean, it's as good a view as you could get in a city like Liberty. You can see all the tall towers off in the distance. And then there is smoke which bellows out which bellows out from the factories. Underneath the bridge, it's all factories. It is never sunny where I live because the pollution and the bridge overhead casts a long dark and ugly shadow on the entire neighborhood. Yes, you'll see lots of private security guards in this area thanks to the penitentiary in the area and also the remaining industry. This is an area where kids like to hang out at night to do drugs. But in the day it is just a liminal space. A space which has no meaning left. All the shops have gone out and this is now an empty space which means nothing. But yes, dog waste is the law. Now let me show you the place where I go to school. Look out. And this is it. Special lunch for only 3.50 dollars. Complete diner. Hmm, the diner is closed for now, but at night all the poor schmucks in the area come to eat here. It's very cheap and it's better than going to a restaurant every day. The woman who cooks here, she is from Italy, a first generation immigrant. Honestly sometimes seeing this rubbish makes me wish that I didn't actually eat here but what choice do I have The back seems equally dreary there is nothing to be found here It is just the back of an eatery there are gas cylinders and there is trash and then further down the road it's all industries most of them are living some are closed down you'll find the remains of train tracks here but then you will question that hey there are no trains in aldeny anymore what happened to them well, there used to be an extensive train system in aldeny back in the old days but after modernization the trains were removed they were replaced by big trucks they proved to be nothing but a hindrance and especially because the train tracks were too limited anyway often the distance you can see all the low budget public housing apartments don't end up there because it's filled with criminals and low lives who have nothing else to do many of them are also immigrants and they are often armed 
so I would not advise you to go there. Then this is a place where all the poor people go for their financial advice and their taxes. It's cheap. I've heard that the owner likes to siphon some of the money. He does not really provide good financial service, but he provides it adequately. And yes, he is a thief, a robber, who makes money from the poor and uneducated people. But what can we do? He is the best that we had in the neighborhood for this price. And he is located right next to a small bank. The cops in this neighborhood are particularly besides. They know that nobody here is innocent. And there are many stores like this, which promise mufflers, socks, cheap clothing, road services, stop shops to repair your car, total brake service. It's part of the poor man's life. You find many people smoking on the back streets here. Yes, smoking is bad for health, but what else can a man do when he's paid minimum wage for working up to 18 hours a day sometimes? This is literally the only source of some pleasure that he has, apart from prostitutes. Now take a close look at that guy cleaning the home there. Yes, this must be his second job cleaning the homes of the higher middle class people living here. Actually, these are a rarity in this area. All of the rich people left this area in the previous century. The few who are remaining are more like higher middle class who have got these homes for a cheap price once the price of the houses dwindled when the industries took off from this area. I've heard rumors that some of these houses are owned by Mafia Dons, but nothing can be proven. Hey, here's a guy who is working hard for a living. I can respect him. Let's take a quick look at what's around the back. Mostly nothing. The pollution in this area means that you can't grow much more than finely cut grass and maybe one tree. But even then, this is really cozy by the standards of this community. You come out from the house here and there is no weave. You're boxed in. It's like a graveyard here. Except for maybe this side. But even then, what do you see? An advertisement for an auto repair shop, a bridge in the distance, and the neighbor's yard. It's not like I'm hard to see, motherfucker. Sorry. And these kinds of... Uh, these kinds of dens are quite common in this area. Basically, these are underground sections of the home, but some people like to plant little pots or trees here. So these dens develop, and you can jump right off them into the street. Interesting, huh? Sometimes the most mundane of details can be very interesting in a neighborhood like this. And this is the medical center, which is also the center of community in this area. Most of the local area, if it's not working for the industries and if it's not dealing drugs, then it works in this huge medical center, extremely advanced, with some of the best doctors available in Liberty City. Industrial accidents are quite common in this area. And right behind that is the community college. Most kids Will, uh, most kids who don't live in Liberty City will die to get admission in a college like this. But those who live here will consider themselves a failure. Because look at this. What is this? This is all that the college has. This is their quote-unquote campus. And it's so pathetic. It's just six buildings where they presumably teach kids some grass. And there's not even a playground. No community outreach center, nothing. It's just, it's just pathetic. I would not want my kid to study here. But it's better than being stuck in an ugly apartment like this one here. 
this is another one of those buildings which were built in the house forward back in the 1980s. After that, property prices dwindled again and now these buildings are owned by people who are living there illegally or rich landlords who rent out these places cheap to people without paying any taxes of course. And this is the grocer where I go to buy my stuff. He is again cheap, but he is a good man. You and I might curse this place, but this guy, he is an immigrant from Serbia and he was an ethnic Bosnian. So he says that working an honest job, owning a grocery store in this ugly and dreary part of town is better than dying in the Trinity. Look at this home, it has collapsed. This is another very common thing in this neighborhood. Houses which were built by second generation builders and then they collapse because nobody takes care of regulation. I like to pop her in a fart box. Look at this girl. She's hanging out with this low life. I wish I could shoot him but I don't Real want shit. to. I got places to be. He will probably dump her somewhere on the side of the tracks one day. Her life is already ruined. It's probably him who got her into drugs. It's over for her, but she doesn't know it yet. What a pity. <laughs> this is one of those walled off gardens. The garden is built here because all of the industries have to meet a certain quota of green milk. and so they plant these trees but then they noticed that lowlifes and schmucks in the neighborhood were cutting off the wood or coming here to deal drugs so they put these huge giant walls in front of them. Not that it's impossible to cross them but they act as a nice enough deterrent. At least the greenery quota is met and as long as it's met, nobody really cares what happens to the garden as a public space. Again, more graffiti on the walls. Cellar Rock CR. Look at this. The sprung soft drink company. Once upon a time this company represented this neighborhood. A huge sprawling soft drink production machine. Hundreds and thousands of workers were working here day and night. Back when this was an industrial paradise. But now it's been abandoned. Sprunk shifted their priorities to Shanghai and Beijing it's instead. Some of their factories are in Texas. None remain in Albany. Now, in, in place of Sprunk, drugs like cocaine and marijuana are dealt here at night. But this place is safe to go in the day. But what will you even do, except for looking at the history of this place? And anyway, it's getting dark. I better move on to the next destination in our trip. Honkers. Honkers is as they call it, the gentleman's club. This is where posh, refined gentlemen come to see women of a certain kind. Hey, who am I kidding? <laughs> Always a pleasure. Strictly. Head on through. And around and around back here is where the vacuum cleaners run on you know what. This guy's probably waiting for his quote unquote girlfriend. There is no true love to be found in this place. Only the love of the physical. I can't really show you this place on camera because there are certain biological aspects of the human body that I just can't show you. But you get the thing. And here is a scrapyard. 
these are also quite common in this place. Cars which are too scrapped, you can't really sell them. It's cheaper to buy a new one and get on with life. Just like everything else in Alton. Look at that ugly bridge. I wonder what this lady is waiting for. Seems to be at least from a lower middle class home. Oh, it's Big Polly's budget cars. Buy now or you'll live to regret. Hey, do not buy from Big Polly. Big Polly is a member of the Pecorino family, if you know what I mean. They don't just scrap cars here. I've heard that they also scrap bottles, and it's not a nice thing to see. I like to explore places which are not really meant for human exploration, like under a rusty bridge. This is probably all that remains of one of the building equipments used when they build this bridge. It was cheaper to lay it here instead of taking it back to wherever it came from. Drivers here have no self-discipline. Let's partake in some more nature. If you want some cozy view of the water, then you are in the wrong place. But if you want some cozy view of the water while not leaving this neighborhood, then you are in the right place. And what better way to view the water than with a huge nuclear reactor being sprayed in your face? Yes, the nuclear plant. No, I'm kidding. It's not really a nuclear plant. It's a thermal plant. But it's more of the same. I like to see the way the ships go here. A little bit of nature. Of course, the water is completely polluted and filled with rubbish from the industries. But it's better than having no nature at all. The harbor out there promises an exit to the sea. Let me walk on the edge of the water here for some time. Oh, a flower. This is like hope growing in the middle of despair. more dreary homes and neighborhoods. This is a factory that is so destroyed that we don't even know what factory this was. But just imagine this for a moment. Let's go back 70 years. You are Sir Westmore Lamb, a rich man from an aristocratic business family. You have invested in your own textile mill in Alfie Liberty City. Is the most stylish new venom. World War II has just ended and you want to make quick bucks. You set up this factory and you're standing in the middle of it. You hear the voices of all of your employees, your workers, and you gaze at the magnificence that you have built. It is you who power the families of all that work here. It is your clothes that clothe the people of Liberty City. How proud you must be. Oh my god, coming back to reality feels so bad because a ruined hellscape is all that remains of this magnificent place which once used to be a clothing company. It brings a tear to my eye to see American industry being destroyed like this. As I told you, these are the low-budget homes. There is nothing in these homes worth looking at. If you are living here, then your life is hell. Like for example, suppose you are standing in this window. What will you see? Nothing but the fire coming out from the chimneys of the factories and the ugly dried out trees, the road, the constant honking of the cars which keeps you awake all night and then the full moon. 
This goes on to show that man can destroy nature all he wants, but its beauty, its magnificence will still be visible through the smallest of crevices. Behind this building is another destroyed factory. And what is this place for, I wonder? I guess at some point a car crashed on this road and they decided that once again it, is, it was cheaper to just let the ruins remain here. I still don't know why this country's in the shit. There's a certain weird kind of beauty even in this poor neighborhood. The lights reflecting off this building and the starry sky above. It all looks so poetic. I didn't even realize when the sun actually set and full-on night descended upon Liberty City. Now before I end this tour of Aldeni, let me show you one last thing. Oh, there are lots of abandoned generators in this area too. I don't know why. Yes. That is the big oil plant up there and the lights are there because the smallest of leakage has to be discovered. So there are dozens of lights in every corridor. It's very well lit and it shines like a beacon in the otherwise dark, dreary Oh God. He is working for Hallow Taylor, inch by inch, classic and thorough. But it looks like he himself hasn't availed of his own services. His shirt is so ugly. And then we see the abandoned ship that shipwrecked here a few months ago. Oh, there's one one place that people of this part of town come to hang out. Like you a place where they please. can buy a hot dog. A place right, where they amigo. can live with I'll their buy. friends. And just for a moment, Forget Another happy that customer. an ugly industrial That's what I was looking for. behind them. Again, these are hard My working people. Oh, I like to see the ocean in here. Let me eat something from him as well. My totally nuts are nuts. famous. Let's have something to eat. Hand it over. Toma! Why, thank you. Big He's gone to wear a basic system in here. Just some beans, some meat, and some nuts. But it's enough to quench the hunger of many people. And you can even sit here on these little stools. There's a telescope here. Let me see what we can see through it. Oh, the harbor. I like to imagine what this must have looked like back in 1680, when the first men landed on Alden. What must they have seen? Certainly not a polluted, ugly, dreary industrial park. Maybe they gazed out of the ocean like I did when they first set foot here. The endless ocean, which goes on for miles and miles. It feels so weird now. In the daytime, a guy is here who paints very good sketches of you. But he's away for the night. And he takes $50 for a large portrait and $35 for a small sketch. And this is his rig. Some paint and some paper. And he also draws these panoramic shots of Liberty City itself. Let's look at the prices. Small prints $25, medium prints $35, and large prints $50. I wonder who in this neighborhood can really afford it. Or is it sense? Maybe I'm mistreated. Look at this place. Another place which has no real meaning. What was this? What was this in its prime? Who came here? I guess this must have been the back lot of this building in here. Oh, 
One of my favorite things to do is to explore the most ugliest corners of this city because it is here that we see stories. Like look at this in the trash can. This is probably the last thing that was ever thrown in this trash can. Possibly this was the last thing that gave character to this abandoned building. After this was thrown in this trash can, nobody ever thought about this building again. It just disappeared. I like the dilapidated little beach here, so comfortable. For a moment, it even takes me out of the sad reality of the situation. Going out into the clean, okay, unclean but still pretty clean water. The steady sky. I can look at it all day. Let us soak it up for a moment. Oh, look at that. It's a falling star. Or is it an airplane? Who knows, but that one is surely an airplane. I don't really know what that thing is. And that's a bird. And that's a piece of plastic or paper, trash. And that's all for today folks. I hope you enjoyed this trip to the most ugliest parts of Liberty City. Now I am swimming off into the night. Have a good day.